fourth graders. So um, you have already acted out Hansel and Gretel as a musical where we did parts and then you heard some vocal parts that are actual pieces of music from the opera. <clears throat> now, today, you're going to get to start actually seeing the opera. So you're going to see this from the Metropolitan Opera House, which is in New York City. And it opened in 1883 and has a very good reputation for high quality performances with many of the world's most renowned performers. Uh, a superior company of orchestral and choral musicians. Um, I actually have one of my former students actually plays uh, the violin in the orchestra for the Metropolitan Opera Company. Um, I have also done a lot of operas with Syracuse Opera and um, they are a lot of fun to be in. Juliana was actually in some as well when she was in um, elementary and high school. Um, but not at the Metropolitan Opera House. The Metropolitan Opera House is in um, down in New York City. The one that Juliana and I were in is in Syracuse. The Metropolitan Opera House stages um, about uh, has about 200 performances of opera in, in each year, and 800,000 people attend the performances. Millions more throughout the world now experience the Metropolitan Opera House on television, radio, on tour, on video, recordings, and now actually even in movie theaters. Generally before the opera starts there's an overture and that's an orchest orchestral part that ex lets you hear some of the music. Um, and what you're, oh, a couple other things I want to remind you. Uh, the conductor is the person who leads the orchestra. In an opera, most of the times the orchestra is set down below the stage, out in front of the stage. So the conductor can be looking at the singers and then also conducting the instrumentalists. Um, remember that Hansel is going to be played in this opera by a woman because in this opera and in most operas, um, the parts are almost all played by adults because they don't use any microphones in operas. They just have to build have their voice carry. So, um, Gretel is played by an adult woman and if they had an adult man play the part of Hansel, the boy, the voice would be too low. So in the opera, Hansel is played by a, a woman dressed as a boy to make it sound like a boy. Um, and it, that is called a pants roll. So um, there are lots of different positions you can have if you want to be part of an opera company. You could be somebody who helps make the costumes. You can somebody who helps make the scenery. And, it, and then people that are on the stage, as well as the people that are moving the pieces of the scenery or the curtains. And they're all very important parts. There is going to be a live animal on this opera, in this opera, and you'll have to notice that. And I also want to try to have you notice the chimney smoke coming out at the beginning of this. Um, so some of the backstage positions there are are the artist, the set designers, the set moving crew, the lighting crew, um, the costume designers, the seamstresses that fix. Um, any costumes during the opera that might get ripped or anything. And then there's also people that actually help the people change, especially if they have a quick change. And um, when I was in the opera Macbeth, I played two parts. I was a witch for one part, and I was just a regular person for another. And we had to, there was like six of us that w did this. As soon as we went off stage, we had to very quickly change, including taking off gloves that had these long fingernails on them and wigs. And we actually had people that helped us to do that as soon as we exited the stage. All right, so you are going to get to see Hansel and Gretel, part one. Hansel and Gretel, remember, are supposed to be doing their work, but instead they're singing and dancing. I hope you enjoy part one of Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> 